when the eyes don't work together well, uh, the brain will also often adapt by suppressing or filtering out some of the vision in one eye. This is a video about binocular vision dysfunction. So this is a term that basically means um, both eyes aren't working together optimally. And this can encompass uh, quite a lot of different conditions. So when you have good binocular vision, you can get both eyes pointed at the same spot in space, and uh, you can combine the image that the right eye sees with the image that the left eye sees and uh, put it together into one single image. So people with binocular vision issues uh, very often have difficulty with um, eye alignment. So this could be the eyes wanting to cross inward too far or drift apart, or maybe one eye wants to aim higher or lower than the other. Um, this can also be variable depending on whether you're looking close up or far away or left or right. Um, it can also vary depending on how hard you have to focus to see up close or how tired you are. And there can be a lot of different symptoms, um, fatigue, headaches, double vision, print that seems to wiggle around when you read. And uh, when the eyes don't work together well, uh, the brain will also often adapt by suppressing or filtering out some of the vision in one eye. Um, and this helps to keep you from seeing double, but uh, it also can reduce your uh, 3D vision or depth perception. Um, the causes of this can vary pretty widely as well. Uh, a lot of people ask me if it's caused by a weak eye muscle, uh, but that's almost never the case. Um, usually it's something that's more neurological in nature. Um, so it could be kind of more of like a developmental, like a neurodevelopmental kind of issue or like a muscle tone thing. Um, but it can also be, you know, potentially you know, something more serious. Um, you know, most people, uh, they're simply born that way uh, most of the, in most of these cases, um, but they can also be caused by brain injuries, um, you know, like car accidents or concussions. Um, it can also be caused by like certain neurodegenerative conditions like Parkinson's disease. Um, and then there's also like the really rare cases of things like brain tumors and freaky stuff like that. Um, as far as uh, treatment goes, uh, the options can vary uh, depending on, on what's going on. Um, you know, we can do vision therapy to teach you how to control it better. Um, in glasses, we can use prism to uh, get the double images to align easier. Um, you know, sometimes I'll also refer to a strabismus surgeon if an eye is like really turned out or something. Um, and it's also not unusual to, you know, combine, you know, maybe some glasses with therapy or surgery and therapy or, you know, sometimes all three. 